Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And whether you love it or hate it, I just hope that your Valentine's Day is not as savage as that experienced by the average alligator lizard. These are southern alligator lizards. And yeah, this is the uh, actually the most widespread lizard in urban areas throughout most of California. Wow. If I want to see one, what, what, where should I look? If you want to see one, most yards throughout urban LA have these. You just want to be looking sort of in areas with leaf litter, a little bit of vegetation underneath shrubs. And they can be active all throughout the spring into the summer, also in the fall. And they have kind of this long body and sort of relatively small legs. And then what is this giant head? What's yeah, so these the males in particular have these really large heads with these really prominent um, muscles that give them really good bite strength. Oh, okay, and that comes in handy right around this time of year? What happens? Well, yeah, so here in the spring, what basically happens is these males are out looking for females, and if they find uh, a female during the breeding season, they, and in fact, these females have much narrower heads, okay. and these males will bite the females uh, on the back of the head and neck region, and we'll hold on to those females for an extended period of time, and they'll be in what we call this, a mating hold. Uh -huh. And at some point during this process, they will probably mate, and eventually they will go their separate ways. So one lizard will just clamp on the other one, and then how long will he stay on there? So we're just starting to learn about how long these might stay together, but we have reports of pairs being seen in that mating hold for up to 31 hours. Ah! So they it might be a long time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but why would an animal do this at all? I mean, is there some sort of reason that he, they would want to have this long period where they're b biting together and they're sort of defenseless? What, what's he doing? We don't know exactly what's going on with this particular species, but there's two sort of likely scenarios. Mm -hmm. One scenario is that the male finds a female and is holding on to her um, waiting for her to become receptive to mating. Oh, okay. So maybe what the female is actually doing is this is female choice, and the female is saying, I'm not that interested in you, and is hoping some other male comes along that maybe she's more interested she in. She likes better. Another possibility is that they actually mate very early in the process, and the male stays clamped on to the female to make sure that other males don't have opportunities to mate with her. Wow. Both of those are possibilities. We don't know the answer. If somebody is fortunate enough to see alligator lizards engaged in mating behavior, they should take a picture of it mm -hmm. and email that photo to nature at nhm.org, or they can simply upload it to iNaturalist, and we'll see the observation there if they can upload it to the, to the Rascals Project, Reptiles and Amphibians of Southern California. And we will use that to study their mating behavior. Things like, how long do they stay together? Uh -huh. Do we see variation from, from year to year based on local weather? Do we see variation with latitude or with elevation? These are all things that we never could have asked before, but because this behavior, which is rarely seen, now has thousands of people looking for it, we're starting to accumulate this huge number of observations. Um, most of our observations are from Southern California, but we would love to have observations from, from all over their range. Okay, so everyone keep an eye out for these savage lizards with their giant heads. If you see one or another biting on one or another in the next few months, take a picture, send it to Greg. That's fantastic, Greg, thank you so much. Absolutely.